I'm here with Kamil Jablonski. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Ready, waiting for my super match. Big opportunity. Yes, big step. Big step. Yeah, I have already a few big steps, uh, but this is another big one. Where, where, where do you rank to Tobias with all the opponents you have faced before? Uh, for me, he's definitely like top five. One of the top five guys. Mm -hmm. With his uh, career, what he done so far, he is really one of the top five guys. I talk with a lot of people, and people are split in the middle. But there's a huge part of an audience that say your press will be just too much. He just faced. I talked with him, and I said like similar opponent. He said similar, but most likely much much stronger. He just pulled Wagner, right? Yeah. Another presser. Uh, you are, in his mind, way stronger. Do you see yourself that? Mm -hmm. I think he's right. <laughs> he's right. I, I, I hope I am much stronger than Wagner, because if I am not, then I'm in big trouble. <laughs> big trouble. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it depends how he will fight me. If he will fight me inside, then I have to be strong, mm -hmm. uh, stronger than Wagner. But if he will go outside, maybe, you know, I'll have more luck to get in the press. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's hard to say. Because, you know, I keep training my press like last six years all the time. And by the way, it's what I see, it's pretty good. But I never pull so strong uh, guy on my left arm so far, like top of mm -hmm. the five. So I have no clue if I am there already or not yet. Mm -hmm. So we'll find out. But, you know, in my heart, I'm going to smash. But what will happen? I don't know. This was the last match that was added to the card, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how much time did you get to prepare for this one? Oh, actually, <clears throat> I didn't remember, really. three weeks maybe, just before the match. So, uh, so uh, what I done? When um, I've got a call from Engin and he say, Kamil, I have for you a uh, super match with Tobias. You want it? And I say, uh, oh, 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 just thinking, but I say, <laughs> okay, let's let's do it. So, you know, because in when I uh, have last super matches January, uh, in January, I after that I have a like week break, maybe one half week break, and then I start doing top roll. So, and and now Engin call me and say, Camille, you need to uh, you need to have a fight with Tobias, and I say that's great, but. I think I needed uh, again side pressure. So, so my side pressure, I think, get a lot of rest, and then uh, after that call from Engin, I try uh, my uh, side pressure, my press, and uh, seems to be very good. So I done like maybe two, three push hard trainings, and every training I add like five kilo, five kilo, and I go to let's say the maximum level, and I fall. Okay, I'll give a rest for my hand. So the left hand I haven't touched like almost three weeks. Okay. It is like come back from big holiday yeah. and all this part is very fresh. very fresh. No injury, no damage, no pain, no nothing. And I just feeling like when I squeeze the hand, it's just, oh my God. <laughs> it's, I feel it is so power. Yeah. It's a, so it's I, a... I want to release the power <laughs> very soon. And you will have a chance in 24 hours, right? Yeah. Um, it's a very exciting match. It's uh, like you said, for the top of the left arm open, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And in January, you pulled Legend of Our Sport, Devon Laird. Mm -hmm. You beat Devon, but because the match was released way back later, mm -hmm. right? There was so much speculation and things and talks. <laughs> and yeah. I even, like, uh, I, I knew the result, but I thought maybe, may, maybe it was a, like a tougher match or maybe it's a long match, right? And then, I saw the match and it was very impressive. Mm -hmm. the, the most impressive part was just you pulled a few days or day before Super 48 match. hours before. 48 hours. And in this time I have like, it was like two days and I have maybe 11 hours of sleep because we was traveling, traveling. from New York yeah. to uh, Vegas. Las Vegas and we have so much trouble in this time. They yeah. canceled the fly. They say to next, the next fly is tomorrow, and I say how tomorrow? If tomorrow I have a fight, yeah. <laughs> so I have to be there. So then they change the fly from Philadelphia. So we jump in the train. We, we like hundred uh, miles. We go through the tr few trains to get to Philadelphia. After uh, late, after like five o'clock, we have the fly. So 
seems to be okay and then we land, land at midnight so it was just horrible i was completely <laughs> you, you, at, at that point you must be thinking like i can't win this right you feel or did no, as soon as my, the match my started, point it was adrenaline. my point it was i must win this oh, <laughs> for goodness. everything what i done i yeah. must win so you know i am pretty strong in in the mind so mm. You know, I come to Devon and I just don't afraid nothing. Mm -hmm. When I sit on the front of him, uh, Neil pick up, ask me, Kamil, do you afraid of Devon? I said, no, I'm not afraid of anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just strong in the mind and I think Devon feel that as well. And uh, on the on the match, he try play his games, but I just ignore them completely. I just ignore them. And when I was ready to go, I just go one way, bam, bam. So, yeah. Good. It was good. Good time for good me. Moment. Good moment. Good moment. Yeah. <laughs> it was good moment. And after this, uh, yeah, I was expecting to um, to go next level, mm -hmm. which uh, which luckily is not maybe Alijan because last time when I beat Dave Chafee, I get I, they given me straight the Ivan Matushenko, the horrible match for me. But this time they give me top guy, but good for my technique. Okay. So I believe I I can I can do it. It's a, like you said, next step. Uh, how, did your life change because you beat Devon? Oh, you mean on social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am more like double popular since double. January. Yeah. So it has changed quite a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of haters to be honest, but the haters yeah. are still fans because they watch you, they, watch they you. comments and everything. Because, you know, if you beat them legend, they're yeah. not happy. Of course, of But, course. you yeah. know, slowly they will maybe understand that uh, is, is just how it is. Yeah. We will see after Saturday. <laughs> well, gr great performance from you. We have seen since. Uh, every time you compete, you keep getting better. You, uh, you pursue these matches. You're mm -hmm. trying your best to get mm -hmm. in these matches. And it's uh, definitely a big one. Uh, you met both guys are, what are behind us yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have your thoughts changed about the match? You know, my, my, my view is on this situation that I like if the big king can be beaten. Mm -hmm. Because if again not, then we are all in big trouble. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It means that Levan is somewhere there and to get to Levan is... Almost impossible yeah. at this point. But if Devon can do something, and I believe he is in the best shape, uh, strongest, fresh and no injuries, if he can do something, even if he lost, but he have a good fight like Hermes, he gives some difficult time for Levan, then I'll be very happy. Yeah. So that's my point about that. Crazy exciting event, East versus West 12. We will see a great left arm match. Uh, there's also, um, I have to, we have to talk, Hermes is pulling Aljan on the card with left arm. Mm -hmm. um, and we talked with Tobias and he said maybe the winner gets the winner of that match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I have an a interview with Engin, he asked about who will win Hermes or Alijan and, and I mentioned to him it's better for me if will Hermes win because I think maybe he is more easier mm -hmm. for me than Alijan. Like, <laughs> yeah, stylistically. Because, yeah. you know, uh, my head is a little bit injury after Ivan and <laughs> that this move inside <laughs> is difficult. No hookers. But, but um, let's be honest, after, uh, after Ivan match, I change a lot of my technique and I start uh, hooking a lot mm -hmm. uh, to make sure I'll be ready because uh, I, I do a little bit like top roll, yeah, but I feel it's not really working with my press because the muscles start to be tired here and then when I go to press, I feel them a little bit not comfortable. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I'm not really sure um, if it's good to have everything. I think hook and press is the best. Mm -hmm. So on my left arm, I start hooking, hooking and I go pretty to very good weight, uh, like I can hold like that 100 kilos, which is like a hook. So I am happy about that and, uh, and we will see. So, you know, one day I think I will have to meet both of them yeah. because they are in somewhere yeah. in this line. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's f for sure, it's Morozov, Vitali, Alijan, Hermes, Kurdecha 
And uh, who else? Ivan? Yeah. Ivan also, yeah. yeah. Ivan also. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, after Ivan match and Reno, I am not so scared so much. <laughs> 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 because I have uh, some um, matches with Reno and wasn't that horrible as well. So they give me a sign that the level is not uh, so much so far. far right? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, a couple of me. The power what I training is not going super fast. Experience is going super fast. You know, mm. every every competition I get new experience. I come back home, rewatch, thinking what I done wrong, where I have to move the hand a little bit, which way to to have a little bit more advantage. So, the the most uh, uh, what is working on me is experience. And uh, with Cody, I make some mistakes as well. You, you want to know what was the mistakes? Let's go. I try win him without the straps too many times, mm. and uh, it was difficult when he was far away. And I try pin him. I holding with the fingers and I stretch so much. After this, I have like six, eight weeks of pain uh, here on mm. on my fingers, and just next time I will just just let it go, just get, get the, the strap. straps, and then I will have easier life. So mm. another experience. Well, yeah. So it's that's, it's arm wrestling. You yeah, you learn that, that's, you learn. That's, if, no. Like it's great to hear when you're learning when you're winning. Mm -hmm. uh, big moment, big match. Kamil Jablonski versus Tobias Sporong live on pay per view on East versus West twelve. Don't miss it. All the information is in description. Stay strong and love arm wrestling. Love arm wrestling. Yeah. Thank you guys. See you later. Mm -hmm.